이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 지난 4년간 극심한 내전에 시달렸던 시리아가 알레포 지역 주민들을 철수시키는 등 내전의 종지부를 찍는가 싶었는데 내전 하부 이후에도 곳곳에서 교전이 일어나며 또다시 앞날을 예측할 수 없게 됐습니다. 중동 지역의 분쟁은 시리아뿐만 아닙니다. 최근 예루살렘 중심부에 있는 한 교회가 급진 이슬람 단체에 의해 파괴되는 등큰 어려움을 겪고 있다고 하는데요. 예루살렘에서 전해온 소식입니다. This, this is it. It's all of Karen's, it's all of Karen's stuff. All of everything. This, this is what's happening to Living Bread Church, right here. Michael Hilsden, a former volunteer at Living Bread Church, recorded what happened. Most of the church property and personal belongings of its pastor were burned in this dumpster. Everything's burnt. Everything. 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 Cool. It was an act, really, I felt of terror. Karen Dunham pastored the Living Bread Church for 10 years. On Saturday, November 24th, Muslim neighbors came into the building and ransacked it. They've destroyed everything inside. Um, that dumpster right there is full of um, stones. They tore out the floor, they pulled out the wiring, they punched holes in the uh, walls. This is what the church used to look like. This is what it looks like now. You know, I've been there 10 years, you know, or longer. I mean, it's just you've got I've got diaries where you write down what God says to you, Bibles, and they burn, you know, they burn all the personal stuff. The ones who vandalized and seized the church claim the rent has not been paid and that they've been trying to evict the church for two years. We have a legal right to be there right now. Yeah, our rent is paid till next year. Yeah. And you have a 20 year lease. And I have a 20 year lease. We have every right to be here. Yeah. Do they have every right to do what they did? None. None. The dispute goes back years. In 2014, the Jerusalem Post covered how Dunham's neighbors harassed church members and stole property. Yet this time, Pastor Dunham decided against pursuing legal action. The biggest power is conquering love. And he said, I want you to go and love those guys. And I want you to tell them you forgive them. And I want you to tell them that your God is in the building waiting for them. And release that building back to me. The incident troubled a number of local Christians. Very, very sad. I can't believe that it's happened for us. I can't believe that I am in Israel's to take house. Church members and other local Christians held a prayer service outside the church, expressing hope for the future. Living Bread International Church, just because they knocked holes in the building and destroyed the building, Living Bread International Church is still alive. Others expressed hope local authorities will take action. Regardless of the outcome, they believe God will redeem this situation. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, 